Hey everyone, and welcome back to A Year in the Loft. Now, today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. I wanted to do an album recap for Vision. So, just basically for anybody who hasn't seen all of the individual videos, uh, I'm just gonna talk about kind of what's my favorite song, favorite lyric, favorite bit of production, favorite vocal, and kind of my overall favorite to record. To jump straight in, my favorite song um, is probably Vision with some honourable mentions to Run With Me, The One, Comfortable, but I mean, they're for me, they're like top tier. I love those songs, I love writing them. Um, but Vision is just, I, I can probably still be listening to that in, in five years time because, you know, once you're locked into that groove, you're kind of locked in. So yeah, my favourite song would defo be Vision uh, with some honourable mentions as well. Um, my favourite lyrics, once again, probably Vision with a really, really honourable mention to Run With Me. But Vision, I think everybody's been through uh, the experience of the song, in fact. You know, that journey is something that hopefully I've put across in like the right way and people can kind of get behind it and connect with it. So yeah, and Run With Me also just because uh, of how the, like, the, the song weaves and the story kind of weaves throughout and I... Um, and she's saying one thing and I'm saying another thing, but we're kind of both agreeing and um, you then get that imagery in the in the bridge in the mid late. Favorite bit of production um, would have to be if I ever find love. Now I've got a bit of a clip to play. Cause if I ever find love, if I ever find love, oh baby be good to me. Be good to me. And I think that any songwriter or any producer knows that sometimes when you're making music it does take hours and hours to get it exactly right but if I ever find love it just happened I put the samples in I was like this is gassed I love it um, I kind of laid the vocals down I was really really happy with them um, and everything seemed to work like probably in about an hour you know and, I, and that is honestly unheard of like most of the time I'll spend a few hours two or three hours and it'll be like a gradual day long uh, production kind of but but for, for that song it just happened very very quickly and it's the same production wise with comfortable uh, that song you know it's kind of a little bit like vision once you're locked in to the production with the piano and the pads and the drums and Magnus's guitar that's it you know my favorite vocals to produce um, probably comfortable again just because uh, I remember doing well, making the song, I literally remember, and making the video as well, and like, I genuinely thought I wasn't even going to get it done in the day. It was taking literally forever. And there are certain things in there which probably most people won't even hear, but for me, I'm, you know, they gas me really, because like, I wouldn't usually do them. Like, throwing harmonies at the end of the second verse to kind of carry the song, try and keep that momentum going, like, it was just... I pushed myself probably the most with Comfortable um, and also the one for vocals as well because on the flip side to Comfortable where I did a hell of a lot, the one I did not as many, you know, probably like a, an hour, 45 minutes worth of vocals, but for the song it really worked and I was actually really, really proud of how that song kind of kept it, well, came out and finished basically. And my favourite to record through the day, I mean I've said it, probably Comfortable. Um, probably Vision because I got to write with Blake There For You as well, the first one because it was like the, f the very start of the challenge and also I was like stood around my room being like I want to my feelings off, want to you know, just being like, I probably look like an absolute idiot but like for the song it works so you know, so be it Those are my uh, kind of favourite bits from the, from the album one and me recapping it and thinking back Let me know what your favourite song is, favourite lyric and if you have watched this far uh, I'll let you in to a secret and tell you that the next month, so June's theme word will be California. Now, that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, as always, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it if you want to. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on probably June the 1st for uh, help the start of album two. So that's all from me. Bye-bye and peace.